As much as we've all enjoyed saving money at the pump, low crude oil prices, a struggling Chinese market, and an unstable global economy could be early signs of more bad news for Wall Street. At least that's how some analysts feel. One market analyst tells Fortune the stock market could plunge as much as 75%, saying the illusion of prosperity is shattered as boom now turns to bust. Some of the panic on Wall Street comes from the recent plunge since the turn of the new year. Since January 1st, the S&P 500 index has fallen 7.5%. The Dow had the worst four days to start a new year on record and is currently down 10% since January 1st. Two major factors for the rough start this year have been oil prices and the struggling Chinese market, which has led to a volatile global economy. Back in 2014, crude oil prices peaked at nearly $110 per gallon. Now that same barrel costs around $30, the lowest it's been since 2004. And according to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, no one expects prices to rise anytime soon. As for China, the Shanghai Composite Index is down 15% this year and has fallen 42% since June. All that said, there's no guarantee the U.S. market is on the brink of collapse, and the market is nowhere near the low of the Great Recession. U.S. stock market suffered big losses on Friday with the Dow Jones Industrial Average reaching its lowest level since September 2014. Analysts said the drops were fueled by fears about the health of the Chinese and U.S. economies, as well as the continued drop in oil prices, which has fallen by 20 percent so far in 2016 to below $30 a barrel. The falling oil price and disappointing retail sales data released on Friday have pushed back expectations of when the Federal Reserve will next increase interest rates following the first rate rise in almost a decade in December. So basically what's going on with the markets, uh, a lot of people think that markets are forward-looking. What we're seeing in terms of markets is that they're telling the Fed that going forward there's going to be excess financial instability, that the potential for the real economy to go down into stall speed and potentially recession is much greater than the Fed thinks that it is and that the Fed probably needs to take this into account as it continues with its rate hike cycle, which at present is uh, four rate hikes, 400 basis points in 2016. The market doesn't believe that's going to happen. The Fed needs to listen to that or we could be in for some serious problems.